This week we've been exploring Psalm 139. It's a prayer that I love that David originally prayed. And he marvels that God, the great creator that can create beautiful stuff like this, cares about each one of us. And then he, he talks about how there's nowhere that we can go in creation. There's nowhere we can go in our own hearts. There's nowhere we can go that's so far away God can't reach us. Sometimes he feels distant, but, but he's always there. And if we just take that step back to him, he's, he's there. Today I want to continue the next couple verses beginning with verse 13 of Psalm 139. And this is his prayer about how, how, just how deeply God knows him and each one of us. He says, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. These days there's a lot of debate going on about whether abortion should be legal or not. I, I, I consistently stay away from politics. But I would like to point out to anybody who's a believer out there that this and several other passages make it pretty clear that God knows us not only after we're born, but before we're born. That his plans and his ability to understand and know everything exceed our own ability to understand who is alive and who's not, who's a human and who's not, who has rights and who's not. God is bigger than all those things. In the same way that there's nowhere we can go to get away from God, even in the womb, God knows us. Even in the womb, God knew you and had plans for you. And my encouragement today is is to reach out with that hope and with that love, not with judgment, not with anger, not with trying to to fight people who have done something uh, that they now regret or maybe don't even regret yet to someone who has not been born. That's not my message today but my message to you is again no matter what you've done or where you've gone in life you're not too far from God and God does care about you he's cared about you even before you were born reach out to him today